The campus of Riverside High School, this is Paul Darty, along with Brian Pate. Brian, thanks for joining us tonight. We're looking forward to an outstanding ball game. Should be a great football game tonight. We've got beautiful weather, fields in good condition, even with all the weather problems that we've had recently. So we're looking forward to some great football tonight. Can't wait for it. You know, speaking of great football, Garner and, and Riverside in an outstanding matchup last year in the playoffs. Riverside, the team that beat Garner twice, Garner 11-2 on the year, an outstanding year. I think they're looking for revenge. Let's see if Riverside can maintain their home field and, uh, and get a win here against Garner, get their season kicked off. We're looking forward to a great matchup. We'll be right back with the keys to the game and the kickoff of tonight's exciting matchup. Here, Wake Forest Rollsville taking it to them, getting the shutout. Riverside with eight turnovers. Well, and I don't think that's an indication in, in any shape or form of, of Riverside having too much trouble yet, but I, I think I think Wake Forest may have one of the football teams to beat. They're, uh, they're ranked in the top two or three, depending on who's, uh, uh, whose rankings you look at. They're, they've really got a program over there that's beginning to, to really come to fruition. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see. They're going to make some noise in the Cap 7 again this year after a great season last year. So Cap 7 is going to be real interesting this year because Leesville Road knocked off a very good carry team that I got to see play in a, in a jamboree. Jonathan Stevenson coming in, not a starter tonight for the defense. So a big play by Stevenson as the uh, punt will roll towards the end zone and it'll be stopped just short of the goal line. But I think his momentum carried him in. Let's see as the official like standing right at the goal line. Looks like he's going to spot that just, in, just uh, inside the one. Now, Brian, you're an expert in uh, this sort of uh, officiating. What's the situation there? In high school football here in North Carolina, wherever the ball is first touched, that's where it's going to be positioned. You saw in, in college football and in pro football, the momentum takes you on into the end zone, then it's a touchback. But in high school football here in North Carolina, wherever the ball's touched, that's where it's down. So that's a prime example of what you what you just seen. So uh, Garner's inside the one-yard line here. You know, Riverside may be looking for an opportunity to put their ears back and go, go get a safety here. Well, if there was ever a time to do it, now is the time. Time Warner Cable and Robert Warren Mobile Television Productions present the Time Warner Cable High School Football Game of the Week. Tonight's matchup, the Charlotte Catholic Cougars taking on the Cardinals from Philip O. Berry Academy. Tonight's game brought to you by Time Warner Cable, the power of you. From Jim Odo Field on the campus of Charlotte Catholic High School on senior night, this is Paul Doherty along with Brian Pate. Brian, two very different teams, two very different programs. Of course, uh, Charlotte Catholic, a fixture here in the Charlotte area, and head coach Jim Odo, a coach here for over 30 seasons. Philip O'Berry, uh, just coming into existence five years ago, only had a football program in the last four seasons. What do you expect to see tonight? Tonight's going to be a very interesting football game because we have a team that has everything to play for versus a team that has nothing but pride to play for. Barry's coming in here with a 2-8 and eight record, and they are not going to make the state playoffs even with the win tonight, whereas Charlotte Catholic could be really affected with a mistake and a loss here. If they stumble tonight, it could cost them quite a bit, including home field advantage in the 3A playoffs. So we want to make sure that uh, Charlotte Catholic's going to try to keep it and, and hold, hold serve here, and Barry's going to try to be the first first team in the history of the conference to actually win a game against Charlotte Catholic. We've got a great football game on tap tonight. That's right. Charlotte Catholic, a team undefeated in 2004, undefeated in 2005, two state championships, and of course they were the runners-up uh, last year in the state 3AA championships. Will they uh, hold on to this home field advantage through the playoffs and get this win and keep their record in the Queen City 3A, 4A? Uh, unblemished. We'll find out right after these words when we come back with the keys to the game and tonight's kickoff. Back everybody as we wrap things up along with uh, Brian Pate. This is Paul Doherty. Uh, Charlotte Catholic uh, winning in style here uh, to end the conference season. Uh, Brian, it's been uh, great having you along uh, with me on this one. Once again, and, uh, quite a ball for game. me. I had a great time. Charlotte Catholic looks good. It'll be interesting to watch the playoffs. I, I can't wait to see them start. Well, of course, uh, we plan on carrying uh, games uh, throughout the uh, Western uh, playoffs. And, of course, the state championships will be available uh, on News 14 Live, the 4A uh, and 4, 4AA, rather, state championship. And, of course, the playoffs will be available on on-demand, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Well, for Brian Pate, this is Paul Doherty saying goodnight. The final score here at Charlotte Catholic High School, 44 to 12 over P.O. Berry Academy. Another terrific edition of the Time Warner Cable High School Football Game of the Week. This has been a presentation of Time Warner Cable. Time Warner Cable, the power of you.